This place is so tranquil and quiet. Except for my truck and cars in the background. But if that wasn't back there, this place would be amazing. Well, it kind of is for one reason in particular. Right here in this one spot was the very first time I ever met Tommy Travels from Tommy Travels video channel on YouTube. Right here's where I first met him. And I figured it's been about a year since we met and hooked up. He's not here today, which is okay. But I still want to go back inside this one place just to reminisce because let's face it, it's amazing. What is it you ask? Well, hopefully you've seen the thumbnail, but if you didn't, it's Minnesota's largest candy store. And this is new since me and Tommy met here. They got a new 3D mural out here on the ground they're painting. The cones are still up. But it is going in and look how beautiful that's going to be. So it was worth a stop here just for this alone. It's worth a stop. I'm really curious if they're doing this much work outside, how much they're doing with inside the building. Well, let's go find out. So this is new on the side of the building. Would you guys look up there? It's Spider-Man. He is way up there. And with the sun going down over the background, you really can't tell this is a real, a 3D painting on the side of the wall on the sidewalk, but it is. Amazingness starts outside. You know, though when you walk inside, it's breathtaking and mind-blowing, but just walking around outside, it's, it's pretty incredible. Derek's walking in, was telling his wife that this is one of the world's most greatest, awesomest things. And it's a candy store, but they do have the world's largest jigsaw puzzle. Here's the thing. Guinness Book of World Records has certified this puzzle measuring 22 feet long, 6 inches, what is the world's largest jigsaw. Okay, well, before we go in, got to do the correcting. And for all those people that are saying, well, you got the shot, why do you still wear that? Because I get those messages all the time. You're allowed to be indoors with vaccinated people. I don't know if people in here are not vaccinated or vaccinated. So when you go indoors, it's still smart to wear a mask. Yeah, see, they're not required, but I tend to uh, side on the side of caution. Is that, is that the saying? Oh my God. Yes, this place still doesn't disappoint. And not only do they got all sorts of popcorn and candies, they also got nature's candy. Every corner. Look at that. It's a hand-painted roof. Would you look how awesome this place is. Not only the stuff that's built, like the paintings and statuettes and stuff, but just the rows and rows of sweets. Look at those whoopie pies. There's a wicked whoopie. God, they have my cherries. The Bada Bing cherries. Bada bing, bada boom. Those things are so good. Ooh, rum. These ones have rum in them. Rum bada bing cherries. Mary Maricino cherries. Ooh, so much. I can go for some cherries. This does not sound that appetizing to me, but it definitely does. Man, would you look at Iron Man in all his glory. This isn't the only Iron Man they have here. There's another one down there, but this one activates and lights up and sometimes moves. Every great roadside attraction, they have a Pappy. As I say, you know, we walked into a whole new room. This is like the superhero villain room. Up there we got what seems to be Chance from Halloween Horror Nights, but it's not. I think her name is Harley Quinn. Got the Joker, Catwoman, Silver Surfer up here getting ready to do some battle with these guys, along with the Man of Steel. Well, he's, he's not here to protect us. He's here to uh, battle this guy. On this end, we've got all the good peoples. Marvel, DC, living happily ever after. I'm assuming 
which is weird. We got one DC character, Wonder Woman, but then we got Thor, Black Panther. Oh, and we got two DC, got Flash. Here we got the Green Man himself, along with, that's not Iron Man, that's, what is, what's his name? What is his name? Yeah, I know he works with Iron Man, but it's not Iron Man. It's one Iron Man suits, Tony Stark suits. Would you guys look at the size of that gummy snake? I bet he weighs 20 pounds if he weighs five. Just his head alone is bigger than my hand. Oh, here, just in case you want to add them on Snapchat, there's the code. S'mores popcorn, I bet that tastes pretty tasty. It tastes pretty tasty. That, that doesn't sound good. Ooh, PB&J popcorn. Mountain Dew flavored popcorn. Back in the day, I used to pick up in North Carolina peanuts and bring them up here to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where this company makes all their candy, Pearson's. And I used to go to their candy, where they make this stuff, where the, the, the creation, where they create the candy, very Willy Wonka-like. But I did not know they also make a 25 pound size nut, nut roll. Would you, and would you look at the size of that? That thing is ginormous. This is not the spam museum. Don't let this pig fool you. Ooh, for Tim Hot Sauce Junkie, uh, he'd have no problem with that, I'm sure. The superhero room and the Disney room and all that into the giant balloon room. It's a fiesta here. Can't figure out which one I need. Found it. I found it. Okay, copyrighted music just stopped. They just jammed out some Beatles, but I didn't want to record them playing because, well, I like I like being monetized. This guy here totally gets it. I wonder if Lucy ever shows up here. Okay, so far this is the hottest chocolate I've found. Not hot enough. And because it is Pride Month, they might as well celebrate with some milk chocolate covered peanuts. Nice. Now we are getting ready to hit one of my most favorite things in this entire place. And no, it's not the painting on this ceiling. Realize what this is. It's, there's Hagrid. And there's the car. Oh, Hermione. This is, there's a green goth thing. Oh, I get it. I know where we're at. Ooh, we're in Harry Potter. We're in, in his world. In fact, there's Harry up there. From here, has got, oh, the Thanos is brand new. And Avengers Infinity Wars. We got Thanos. We got, which is kind of weird. This is, this is a mishmash. A mismatch because up there we got the Millennium Falcon. I got some other Star Wars TIE Fighters and X-Wings. We got the Death Star along with E.T., Groot, Guardians of the Galaxy, my favorite, a working TARDIS. Right, this place has an actual working TARDIS. You can walk inside and it is a little bit bigger on the inside than on the outside. Oof, but uh, it's not actual TARDIS size but it does have a lot of buttons and flickering lights and fun stuff to push and pull. It's just not uh, the entire, the entire. you don't get the entire TARDIS experience. Oh my God, I hope I don't go back in time. I hope I don't. Okay, we're, we're still here. I think we're still in 1955. Yep, okay. Oh, I see. We're, we're missing some fuses. Okay. You got the Falcon right here going up and down. And then right next to the Falcon, you get this. Would you guys look at that? We got the Enterprise docked right here getting some repairs done. 
Yeah, this place is definitely amazing and a must stop if you're driving through Minnesota. Not far from the Twin Cities, just a little bit south. And uh, if you need to get your sweet tooth on or get some amazing selfies, I mean, it, it doesn't get no better than the largest candy store in Minnesota. Not only do they have the world's largest jigsaw puzzle, Minnesota's largest candy store, they also have Minnesota's largest porta potties. They just opened the doors to clean them, but uh, yeah, would you look at these things? They're, that's cool right there. If these weren't a construction site, I would definitely use them. Well, everybody, I came, I conquered, and uh, I have bags full of goodies to take back to the truck. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off from Minnesota's largest candy store with a bag full of goodies. And I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, peace out, everybody.